What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today I am gonna to make for you a cocktail that everyone has been asking me for, a paper plane. This cocktail was created in 2008 by Sam Ross, which is a milk and honey bartender, but what a lot of people don't know about this drink is that it was originally created by The Violet Hour, which isn't necessarily, so The Violet Hour is a cocktail bar in Chicago that isn't necessarily an offshoot of the Milk and Honey crew, but the Milk and Honey crew, some of the Milk and Honey crew went to work there. Anyway, it was originally created for the Violet Hour, and instead of Aperol, it was utilizing Campari, but it was tweaked and brought to Milk and Honey in 2008. So, we are gonna do a uh, Corpse Reviver number two spec, which means that we're gonna do equal parts of three quarters for everything. So, we're gonna be doing three quarters of an ounce of lemon. Sorry, I'm gonna move that so you can see it go into the tin. Three quarters of an ounce of Aperol. Three quarters of an ounce of Amaro Nonino. And then three quarters of an ounce of bourbon. Today we're using Buffalo Trace, which is as good as anything. And uh, true to form, I think I left my strainic apparati in the fridge, so I'm gonna just bam, and use this really cheap one. But that's okay because we're gonna double strain. Ah, I gotta, oh, there it is. <laughs> we're gonna double strain, so we can use a cheap one if we want. Anyway, we're gonna add our ice to our tin, add our cocktail, lock our tin, and shake. Unlock our tin. Strain the excess. Move this, center this, and strain. Now, this drink goes garnishless, so make sure that you shake vigorously enough to get that nice foam on top. It does utilize lemon juice, so the foam, lemon juice doesn't foam as much as lime, I've noticed. So just make sure that you shake very vigorously. Get that nice foam on top. There you have it, the paper plane. Now let's taste it and figure out what's going on. <coughs> Went down the wrong pipe. First thing I notice is nuttiness from the bourbon. <clears throat> Sorry, I a uh, little cocktail on my windpipe. Um, nuttiness from the bourbon followed up by the Aperol. It's just a very well-balanced drink, you know, it's just like the Aperol balances with the lemon, balances with the Nonino and the Buffalo Trace so well. Um, definitely kind of an aperitivo style drink. It's gonna be bitter, citrusy, um, but you get that bourbon to sort of fill out the flavor profile. So you got it, guys. The paper plane. Enjoy it.